My name is Gracie, and Heather asked, you know, when I was up in the mountains, I just came home like last night, and she was like, all right, we're doing this youth service, and if you have something to share, you can share it. And then the thought just came to me, we're doing Fishers of Men, but what about the bait that comes with it? So my message thing is called Take the Bait. Um, when I first think of bait, I think of like a worm or something that you just don't even want to touch sometimes. Some people are like, here, you can bait this up for a second, I don't want to touch that. But I looked up the definition of bait, and it is food used to entice fish or other animals. And when I think of entice, I think of something that really grabs your attention. So to start with, you have fish just swimming around in one big lake, and then all of a sudden they see something in front of them, like right in front of their face. And although many of them can try to ignore that, be like, what in the world is that? The bait keeps showing up. And we often see repetitive messages that God tries to get across. And sometimes we try and keep walking away and just think nothing of it. But there's always the people that decide to act, and the bait starts to look a lot more appealing. But God has his own ways of baiting us in. And what I mean by baiting us in is he's trying to get our attention. So he can do this through music, through people, through scripture, through others speaking in tongues and more. And then when you decide to start to act and take the bait and give him your attention, he'll start to pull you a little. And that's when we start thinking, hey, this is getting out of my comfort zone. And then, and then we start tugging away. And we want to stay hooked on God, but we don't want him pulling us where he needs us. And James 4, 7 says, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee. See, while we're busy trying to stay in one place, there's always temptations tugging on our ankles, just begging for us to let off a little slack on that hook. So you have to make a choice at that point. Are you going to stay hungry? Or are you going to take God's bait and let him fill you up so you can be filled? Because God has been there waiting on you to meet him halfway. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you have to make the choice to stop running and submit to God. And then Ephesians 6.10 says, Finally, meaning when you've decided to make the right choice, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. And so I guess the, the theme of it is take the bait and stop running because he's waiting on you. There you go. She did such a good job. That's